God's sake. Go not to these wars. There was a time, Father, when you broke your word, when you were more endeared to it than now. When your own Percy, when my own heart, dear Harry, did turn many a northward look to see their father rise up his powers, but they did long in vain. Who then persuaded you to stay at home? There were two honors lost that day, yours and your son's. Now for yours, may God in heaven brighten it. For his, it shone upon him as does the sun in the gray vault of heaven. And by his light did all the cavalry of England move to do brave acts. There was not a leg that practiced not his gait. He was the mirror that the noble youth did dress themselves. And <laughs> speaking low, which nature made his blemish, became the accent of valiant, so that those that could speak low and tardily changed their perfection to abuse to seem more like him, so that in affections, in diet, in gait, in affections of delight, in humors of blood, he he was the make in the glass. He was the copy and book that fashioned others and him. Oh, wondrous him. Oh, that miracle of men. Him you did believe. Second to none, unseconded by you. To face the dismal god of war in disadvantage. To abide a field where nothing but Hotspur's name did seem dispendable, so you left him. Never. Never do his ghost the wrong to hold your honor more precise and nice with others than you do with him. Let them alone. Bishops and the Archduke are strong. Had my Harry but half their numbers today on, on Hotspur's neck, we may speak of Wantless' grave. I guess it would be like in in high school or even public school, but I didn't start doing it seriously until I was about 17. Mm -hmm. And I did The Miracle Worker and I was Helen Keller and I was blind and deaf and mute and my friends made fun of it for just a little while and then stopped. And it was just one of those things where a duck in water, you're just like, that makes sense. Yeah, and then I just wanted to do it all the time ever since. Where do you start? I think I take it as a medium very, very seriously. I think that it's it's something that some people make art with paint, some people make art with music. I think that with theater and with acting you make art with people and I find that fascinating and really cool because you can it's like human empathy at work you get to this kind of this this ache that we have here all the time where you just like you want to know people you want to meet them you want to interact you go to the theater and you get to see it and you get to be there and you get to watch and and I think if you're doing it right then it's 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 living it's life and it's mortal. I love that, that it's it's only there for like a little tiny piece of time. With theater, it's, it's there and it's gone. Uh, 
I hope when either if they are seeing something that they see how much I love it. You can you can see somebody when they're doing something that they love. You can see it. You watch musicians who are just having the time of their lives, and you just you feel it too. And I think it kind of is like that with theater. And I guess about me that it's just kind of I'm just a regular person. Like I mm. I'm lucky that I get to do something that's interesting and fascinating for what I like to do. Okay, easy hands down pad thai. But Vancouver, I have yet to find really good pad thai. Like I've searched and I've found ones that kind of taste like a little ketchupy, and that's not that's not it. But there is like this place in London that had it's like a hole in the wall and it's so smaller than my kitchen and they had a cup that you like put the money in and then they give you the pad thai and it was amazing and I miss it so much. Thai taste, London, Ontario, Dundas Street.